Welcome back to the Roach and Bite. Thanks to the amazing work by the Dolphin devs, Red Steel is now fully playable on Dolphin. So let's get cracking with the comparison. Obviously this was a launch title for the Wii and quite an unexpected one when you look back on hindsight because this wasn't really the kiddie game shovelware stuff that associated with the Wii eventually. This was a first person shooter with a cool mechanic of sword fighting which um, drops in in kind of a 1v1 format which some people didn't like very much because they expected to go sword wheeling for the entire game but I remember reading at the time they said you would need about seven years of experience to properly wield a katana or samurai sword so it's just not something that was practical. But it was put into the game and it made it quite a unique little flavour especially when the game we first came out because these motion controls all that were all new to everyone and it was good to see a pro proper game being able to play with these new mechanics and eventually went on to do really really well and really fine tuned in the Metroid series for instance. Now that it's playable in Dolphin obviously we can take advantage of the amazing work that the emulator can do and can breathe some fresh life into the game with obviously with the 4k rendering that it can now provide and it looks just that much better. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys go out and get the latest version of Dolphin, which now plays Red Steel. Let us know down in the comments um, how you thought about it at the time and what it's like now going back to it almost over well, over ten years later.